Jane Seymour has graced both big and small screens with her exceptional performances, from her breakout role in Live and Let Die to the beloved Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman series, Seymour's versatility shines. Beyond her acting prowess, her life's chapters also include several marriages. Her unions with Michael Attenborough, Jeffrey Planer, David Flynn, and James Keach brought both joy and disappointment, but ultimately, it made her realize that holy matrimony just wasn't for her. Despite these challenges, Seymour Seymour's resilience and grace have been unwavering. Join us as we delve into the compelling tale of a woman who navigated fame, love, and setbacks, emerging as a symbol of strength in both her on-screen portrayals and her personal life. Facts First presents Jane Seymour is 72 and now she'll never marry again. Find out why. Jane Seymour's Life and Career Jane Seymour is a legendary English actress whose career has spanned almost six decades. She's 72 and she's amassed over a hundred credits in film and television, and she's got five more upcoming. She was born Joyce Penelope Wilhelmina Frankenberg on February 15, 1951, in Uxbridge, Middlesex. Her father, John Frankenberg, was a distinguished obstetrician, while her mother, Mika Frankenberg, was a talented nurse. The familial environment fostered her innate work ethic, which she would work in her favor when she pursued an entertainment career. Her father was Jewish, and his family originally came from Poland while her mother was a Dutch Protestant. Jane Seymour's diverse heritage later became an integral part of her identity. It was during her teen years that she adopted the name Jane Seymour professionally, paying homage to the iconic English queen. She studied drama at school, and she immediately knew she wanted to pursue it as a career. Her commitment to the craft was evident as she embarked on formal training. Her radiant presence and innate talent began to capture the attention of casting directors, offering her opportunities in both film and television. She made her acting debut debut in Oh, What a Lovely War, directed by Richard Attenborough, though her role was small and uncredited. The film was released in 1969 when she was only 18. She managed to snag a few roles after this, but it took a while to make a name for herself. One of her breakthrough moments arrived with her role as Solitaire in the James Bond film Live and Let Die. This marked a significant milestone in her early career, propelling her into the international spotlight. Her portrayal of Solitaire showcased her ability to infuse her natural sexiness and intelligence into her characters, earning her praise from audiences and critics alike. Solitaire is widely considered to be one of the best Bond girls ever. Shortly after her career gained further momentum with her role as Elise McKenna on the beloved time travel romance Somewhere in Time. Her on-screen chemistry with co-star Christopher Reeve and her embodiment of a woman from a different era solidified her reputation as a versatile and captivating actress. Jane's journey from a young girl enamored of the arts to an accomplished actress was marked by determination, talent, and a willingness to embrace new challenges. Let's look at some more of her career achievements. Jane Seymour's Best Achievements Jane has graced the silver screen with a series of remarkable performances. After her roles in Somewhere in Time and Live and Let Die, she continued moving upwards in her career. In 1984, she took on a dramatically different role in the comedy drama The Woman He Loved, portraying Wallace Simpson, the woman for whom King Edward VIII abdicated the throne. Seymour delved into the complexities of royal romance and political intrigue. Her portrayal showcased her adaptability as an actress, seamlessly transitioned from romantic leads to roles with historical and emotional weight. Her talent for embodying multifaceted characters shined brightly in the 1990 film Matters of the Heart. Her portrayal of a woman grappling with a troubled past and an uncertain future demonstrated her ability to tackle intricate psychological and emotional dimensions. Her commitment to authenticity in her performances allowed audiences to empathize with her character's struggles, making her a captivating presence on screen. A departure from her previous roles came with her performance in the 2005 drama Dear Prudence. Seymour embraced the role of a television host turned amateur detective with a natural charm that drew viewers in. Her ability to infuse lightheartedness into her character while maintaining an air of mystery showcased her dynamic range as an actress. Throughout her illustrious career, Jane has consistently chosen roles that challenge and intrigue her. From enigmatic Bond girls to timeless romantic leads, from historical figures to contemporary characters, Characters, her filmography is a testament to her dedication and skills. 
Jane Seymour is 72, and now she'll never marry again. Jane Seymour's first marriage was to Michael Attenborough, the son of actor and director Richard Attenborough, who directed her first film. The couple tied the knot in 1971 and had a son together, but the marriage faced difficulties and they divorced in 73. The specifics of what led to the dissolution of their marriage might vary based on sources, but she stated she was dumped for another woman. Her second marriage was to Jeffrey Planer, a business manager. They married in 1977 and the union produced twin sons. However, even though her career continued to flourish, her marriage to Planer faced challenges. Incompatibility and the pressures of fame could have contributed to the breakdown of the relationship, and once again, he found another woman. The couple eventually divorced in 1978 after only a year of marriage. In 1981, Seymour married David Flynn, a prominent business figure. This marriage marked a significant shift for her, as Flynn was not a part of the entertainment industry. The marriage lasted longer than her previous ones, spanning more than a decade. They had two children together and seemed to have a relatively stable family life. However, even this marriage faced its share of difficulties and they divorced in 1992. Seymour's fourth marriage was to actor James Keach in 1993. Keach, known for his roles in film and television, was seemingly a more suitable partner given their shared profession. They had worked together on various projects before getting married. The relationship endured for more than two decades, which was a remarkable feat considering her history of shorter marriages. They also had children together. Despite the apparent compatibility between Seymour and Keach, the marriage still had its struggles. Long-term relationships in the public eye often face additional pressures, and once again, she has stated she was dumped for another woman. Their divorce was finalized in 2015. Jane is 72, and now she says she'll never marry again. She stated her marriages and the fact that she's been dumped all four times has left her bitter and angry, and she doesn't want to marry again. She's been in a long relationship with David Green, and although she doesn't feel comfortable getting married again, she is happy with him and that's what matters. She's still as endearing as ever, and what's more important is that even at age 72, her career continues to go from strength to strength. Like the English queen whom she named herself after, her reign is going to continue for quite some time. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Jane Seymour? She has had a wonderful career and has won the respect of her colleagues, but sadly, her marriages didn't turn out as expected. So here's what we want to know. Do you think failed marriages and personal scandals can harm an actor's career? Or do these things bring the oxygen of publicity and can actually help an actor or actress's career? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.